Today we'll show how to get purpose Dubi or other currencies using DubiX. So first of all, let's go to the DubiX website and select the token pair we want to trade. In my case, I would like to get purpose for Ether. So I'll go to DubiX slash purpose slash Ether. The top left, you see the token currencies. But you could also, for example, get Dubi here and you would select the token pair Dubi Ether as well as many other tokens. Simply select them from the drop down here, whatever you want to trade. To actually get this purpose or Dubi, you will need to have Ether. So you're basically trading Ether to get some purpose or Dubi. So once we've selected the token pair we want to trade, we can go to the top right corner of DubiX, tap to open the drop down menu and then select unlock wallet because you need a wallet with Ether funds to pay for the transactions and to actually trade. So we tap unlock wallet and here you see the options available for DubiX. You can trade using MetaMask, Ledger or Trezor. Ledger and Trezor are hardware wallets and if you have a substantial amount of Ether, purpose or Dubi, you might want to look into getting one of those. They cost you a little bit of money and you can do your own research to see whether that's worth for you to get. Personally, right now, now for the demonstration, we'll use MetaMask. MetaMask is a free browser extension for most common browsers like Chrome or Firefox. You can download it for free MetaMask IO. Just make sure you're on the right website. Once you have downloaded MetaMask, you will then be able to import an existing wallet or create a new wallet using MetaMask. So since we have MetaMask, we'll go back to UBX and click connect to MetaMask. This opens the MetaMask pop-up to confirm that we want to connect this account with MetaMask. Select next. We give permission for UBX to view our address. This is actually not permission for UBX to take any funds or anything. This is simply viewing the wallet so DubiX can display how much you have available to trade and so on. So here we have the MetaMask wallet with this address connected. And if you open on the left side this menu, you will see the available token balance. In my case, we have here 90 bucks in USD. Now, when you open MetaMask, you want to make sure you're on the Ethereum network. You can click down here and open the Ethereum mainnet to view your real Ether amount and to then make trades on DubiX. So here we selected the Ethereum network. We can refresh the page and and on the left side, it should show the available balance. In my case, 0.2 Ether, 700 bucks that we use here for the demonstration. We'll show, of course, the amount that you have, as well as the amount of purpose that you might already have on this wallet. In general, you have by default the easy or simple mode, which we view right now, but there is also an advanced version for advanced traders. Personally, I would use the simple mode, but you can go to the advanced one by tapping the top right corner of this menu and then selecting advanced mode. And it has other options, such as more graph information, current prices. You can also make limit or market orders here. You know, all the advanced things that you might want if you're an experienced trader. But simply getting yourself to do your purpose is best on simple mode for beginners or, you know, for anyone that just simply wants to get it right now. So on the simple mode at the top, we can see the current Ethereum price and the gas price. Gas is the cost you have to pay to make transactions. This cost is not paid to DubiX. It's basically paid to the people that mine your transactions. So this is like when you make purchases with credit card or PayPal, there might be a transaction fee. Using DubiX, X itself is completely free and decentralized. You're making trades with other users and this fee is just for the transaction. So you need to have Ether to pay for the transaction fee, no matter what you're getting or what you're trading here. You could technically change the gas price used on UBX, but personally, I would recommend keeping a standard unless you know what you're doing or unless you want to have it very fast and you can pay more. If you don't have Ether yet, you need to get Ether first to pay or to get your Dubio purpose. You can click the information about how to get Ether to view video guide as well as some more text on how to get Ether. For example, you could get Ether from ETMs, you could get them from websites like Binance or Bitstamp, and you can even get it directly if you have a credit card or a verified account. So once we have Ether on the left side, we have buy or sell orders. But again, this is more advanced. Personally, I just want to buy real quick. So I will use this big buy button here. If you want to sell, you will use the big sell button. So I click the buy button and then here we can select the amount of purpose we want to buy or we can select the total Ether we want to spend. Now, important note is that you will need Ether to pay for the transaction. So you can't actually spend all your Ether to buy. That's why you just saw the prompt there saying I don't have Ether. I have a total of 0.2 Ether, but I can't actually buy this much because otherwise I wouldn't have money to pay for the transaction. So here you can manually either adjust the amount of Ether you want to spend, 0.1, or let's say you want to only buy a certain amount of purpose. Then you can simply enter in here the amount of purpose you want to buy. Like 10 or whatever you want to buy. In my case, I want to get 100 purpose. So we add the amount 100 purpose here. We see the price that is being used, which is right now the supply price, um, basically the price on simple mode. If you want to, you can buy it at a certain specific price using buy orders or using the advanced tab. But the simplest option is simply using the buy button and it will select the best current price for you, but you won't be able to change the price. So once you have selected the amount of purpose you want to buy, you want to click confirm. This will open a MetaMask pop up to confirm the transaction. If you're using a hardware wallet, you might need to confirm on your ledger or treasure. You can see the interaction, the estimated gas fee you're going to pay and you can verify whether what you're doing here is 
is correct, then you can confirm the transaction and you see operation pending. This link that you can click and it will go to eForScan where you can view progress of your transaction. Depending on the gas price you're paying, it will take longer or shorter for the transaction to go through. Usually it's a few minutes or you can look at the estimated time. Once the transaction went through, you will see in the bottom right corner the confirmed transaction from MetaMask or you can view it as well on eForScan. So here we can see successful, the purpose got transferred. And if we go back to JubyX, we can now see we have a hundred purpose here as well as we'll also be able to see purpose in our MetaMask account here. If you can't see it, such as in my case, that means you haven't imported a token. So you want to click on import tokens and then enter a custom token and then enter the purpose contract address here. You can get the purpose contract address from purpose.io at the bottom. We want to use the purpose Ethereum address and go copy that, go to MetaMask, select import tokens, custom token, purpose address. And if it's the correct one, it will immediately select the right decimals and symbol and then it can import your tokens. This doesn't actually mean importing the currency. You already have it on your wallet. You just make it visible on MetaMask now. That's how you get purpose, Dubi or other currencies by trading Ether on DubiX. Thank you.